Assalamu alaikum dear student how are you all i hope you are all well by the grace of almighty allah welcome to nievs home school i am nasima akhtar assistant teacher of science national ideal english version school morning shift today i am going to take an elementary science class for class 4 student dear student our today's topic is the universe today we will do some fill in the blanks short question and broad question based on this chapter let's see today's topic this is the universe this is chapter 8 in your book and we will do some fill in the blanks short question and broad question and this is our lecture number 7 and i will give you some sw sw number will be 6 sw so dear student this is your science book we have already discussed this chapter so, uh, you can see this is page number 56 we have already discussed some of topic of this chapter today we will start from page number 60 when you watching this class you can open this page and you can follow your book also <coughs> so let's start today's class at first we will read and then we will do some exercise stars a star is a huge ball of burning gases that gives off light heat and other energy you can see this picture here is a sun is a star and this is a huge ball of burning gases that gives off light heat and other energy the sun is a star in the solar system other stars look much smaller than the sun because they are further away there are numerous stars in the sky we observe that stars from patterns in the night sky a pattern of stars with shapes like an animal person or object is called a constellation Orion is such kind of a constellation you can see this picture this is a constellation it's called Orion now galaxy the sun and the planets are part of the solar system the solar system is part of a large group called a galaxy a galaxy is a huge group of stars and system the solar system is located in the milky way galaxy the stars and the planets that you see at night are in the milky way galaxy milky way galaxy is spiral shape you can see this picture here is a milky way galaxy this is called spiral shape now the universe no one knows for sure how big the universe is the universe is made up of everything that exists including galaxies stars planets space all matter and energy there are billions of galaxies in the universe scientists believe that the universe is expanding with the time now the solar system what is the solar system the solar system is made up of the sun all the planets that move around the sun and other objects such as asteroids comets dust and gas a planet is a large object in space that moves around the sun a planet does not produce light of its own our earth is one of the planet of the solar system 
the moon is the only satellite of the earth planets in the solar system there are eight planets in the solar system such as mercury venus earth mars jupiter saturn uranus and neptune in order from closest to furthest from the sun dear student we have already di discussed this part in our previous class now we will do some exercise at first we will do filling the blanks this filling the blanks you can see one number filling the blanks is the dash is a object in the solar system that moves around the earth answer will be what the moon the moon is a object in the solar system that moves around the earth so we will write here moon then two number the sun is a dash that has light heat and other energy of its own the sun is a star so we will write star the sun is a star that has light heat and other energy of its own three number our earth is one of the planet in the solar system answer will be solar system solar system number 4 the dash is made up of everything that exists including galaxies stars planets space all matter and energy answer will be the universe so we will write here universe okay now we will do some we will discuss short question 3 we have already discussed short question 1 and 2 in our previous class now we will discuss about short question 3 the question is there are numerous stars in the sky what is a constellation the answer will be there are numerous stars in the sky we observe that stars from patterns in the night sky a pattern of stars with shapes like an animal person or object is called a constellation orion is such kind of a constellation next we will discuss broad question this is broad question 1 the question is when we observe the moon in the night sky the moon's shape looks a little different every night explain the phases of moon the answer is moon is the satellite of the planet earth if we observe the moon every night we will see that the shape of the moon is some different than the previous night the moon seems big and brown on some nights on other nights it looks small and half round shaped the changing shapes of the bright part of the moon that we see are called the phases of the moon there are eight phases of moon the phases repeat in every 28 days the name of phases are given below one number is new moon two number waxing crescent three number first quarter four number waxing gibbous five number full moon six number waning gibbous seven number last quarter eight number waning crescent 
Now, broad question 2. The question is, our earth is one of the planet of solar system. What are the components of the solar system? The answer will be, the solar system is made up of the sun. All the planets and other objects such as asteroids, comets, dust and gas. A planet is a large object in space that moves around the sun. A planet does not produce light of its own. Our earth is one of the planets of the solar system. The moon is the only satellite of the earth. There are eight planets in the solar system such as Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune in order from closest to furthest from the sun. Dear student, you have to do some SW. Your SW number is 6. 6 number SW and your SW will be broad question answer 1 and 2. Here is 2 broad question. You have to do 1. 1 number is here. Broad question 1 and broad question 2. So this time you have to do 2 broad question answer. I am repeat your SW. This is 6 number SW. When you write your SW, you have to write 6 SW in top of your copy. And your, your SW is broad question answer 1 and 2. So dear student, I hope you have understood today's topic. Keep practice at home and submit your assigned SW every Sunday from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. And uh, with the help of your guardian or anyone can submit your SW. So dear student, I hope you will do your SW properly and we will give you some marks based on your SW. So dear students, stay safe and well. See you again in our next class. Till then, thank you. Assalamu alaikum.